Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me DJ King. In this video, I'm just doing a quick one week update and I'm gonna add all the videos together. So this will be short and sweet. And this is the small Marc Jacobs in the color Argon oil. And since I have my other bags out, just to show you what I, a typical carry for the week, here is the Dooney and Burt Newport tote that I told you I rotate in between that and my coach backpack. Here is my lunch bag that I have, just something I picked up from Sam's and it's every bit of about two years old. So, <laughs> and this here is the Newport tote, just so you can see it. It is well loved and I'm gonna get up close so you can see the texture. I believe this is the Cabriolet. I got this off of Poshmark maybe two, two and a half years ago. Been using it ever since. It has held up quite well. Um, like I say, I do have some wear and tear on here because I have enjoyed carrying this bag as a work bag. So just so you can see. But this is the Newport tote. She is absolutely stuffed at the moment because everything for work is in her. <laughs> so you can finally see that. But again, this is the Dooney and Burke Newport tote that I sometimes mention in my videos that I rotate between the um, coach backpack and this one. So there is the texture for that, just so you can see Dooney and Burke. So now on to the bag featured for the rest of the month of April. This here is the small one in the color Argon Oil. Okay, I had to move it to a different spot so that you could see. So here is the True to Color Argon Oil, Mark Jacobs. The bag itself has been an excellent carry. I've had no issues, no concerns, no complaints. I will be flat out honest. I have not used the shoulder strap that came with this bag since I got it. I have carried it on the crook of my arm or by the handle like this. I have enjoyed carrying it that way and I don't think I'm gonna add the strap on there for this week either. So this is how it looks on the inside before I take everything out. So again, it starts out looking cute on the inside but this is what we're working with now. <laughs> so that's what you're gonna see. <laughs> so if I did have the straps attached, I'm assuming this part here may have been warped out more because the straps would have pulled on it that way. I have not attached the straps, so this is what it's looking like after a week and what a half of using it without straps. I'm going to show you the back side just so we can look because I know Mono's Beauty had concerns with the threading on hers in the canvas. Again, this is the leather, but same maker, so you still want to see if it possibly may happen with the leather version as well. And you can see the texture in the bag. This is the back side of the bag. And I wanted to film it while the lighting was still great. It's not raining today, not supposed to rain. So <laughs> there's no overcast. So the back of the bag, these are the handles. And it's good to see how it looks from week to week because the first week, some people may baby it and then realize, okay, I can see I can break this baby in nicely with no issues. <laughs> this is the front. And I am going to show you the bottom of the bag. I'm just trying to get all of the front first, just so we can see. And here is the other handle. And since I have carried mine mainly by the handle, I'm expecting this to be more worn than the rest of the bag because it's been in the crook of my arm and on my hands. So the oils from my hands and stuff like that. So the zipper and you guys, I'm going to put you on pause. Okay. So this is how my bag has been. If I had zipped it, when it is zipped, I do not even put this little piece in here for that magnet. I just went on ahead and stuck it inside the bag. So that's what I did all this week and that seemed to work for me. 
I've seen some where they just have it that way and then some where it's up under. With me, I just tucked it into the bag. So even when I unzipped it, one-handed as you see, it still stayed inside the bag. So here is my work phone that is still hooked to the charger. So let me move that. Then these back pockets, you see I still have my mints. And over here, one of these, this one was one that was empty. Let me see if I can open it. I literally just repurposed it and just put cough drops inside of it. So I was like, well, that's a cute little container. I'll just use it for that. So that will stay in there. Over here, I've got a fresh pack of gum, a cocoa butter stick. This here is actual Altoid mints. I have my Sarah wallet that I am going to clean out because it is absolutely stuffed with receipts, papers and stuff. I'm going to carry a whole different accessory, so I'll leave that out. Here is my LV pocket agenda, which is my checkbook. That will stay in there. Here is the Michael Kors cosmetic pouch that I have used as my catch-all. That, I love it, but I don't know if I will keep it or look how that looks together. See how everything just coordinates different brands. <laughs> as you can see, this is the bottom of my bag. Receipts um deodorant and now i'm gonna show you the bottom just so we can get a quick overview of that no wear and tear thus far so just a little quick video and week two i will add to this video so that well there's a little dirty spot there i can probably just wipe that off probably from where i set it down and something but just a little quick overview and week two you will get to see what i carried in the bag so thank you all so much for watching this one and week two will be popping up next. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me DJ King. In this video, this is part two of my update on the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag in the color Argon Oil. I have really bonded with this bag and thus far, it's been an excellent carry. I could see purchasing another color if one pops up that catches my eye as much as this one did. I have carried um, different accessories in her this second week. So I'll show you what I had in her then. So still going to give you an update on how it looks on the outside. I've carried her to work all week and I even remained in her on the weekends. I think I switched out during week one on the weekend day because I had a game and I thought that you know maybe I need to switch into something else as soon as I got home I switched right back into this so the only day I missed out was one day <laughs> but I love the bag so much and Mono's Beauty had asked me how I was loving the bag and I said yeah as soon as I get home I'm switching right back into her <laughs> So this is the update for week two. So it's officially been two weeks. And the only con I will say thus far, just because before I get into the inside of the bag, is when you have your stuff in it. And to me, this is not a con had somebody told me in their video that would prevent me from buying the bag. This is just a con for those that it may bother. Being that this leather is so, so soft, when you place your items in the bag, you may see like this right here. Let me see. Where it looks like something is bulging or sticking out. Since the leather is soft, stuff will show. So the simple solution to that, I'm not bashing the brand. I'm not saying don't go buy the bag. It's just something as simple as just move your stuff around in the bag so that it doesn't bulge out. <laughs> something as simple as that so that con is not enough for me to say oh i can't buy that bag because that leather is so soft it's gonna show indentations and i gotta worry about how i gotta place my stuff in the bag no you just simply figure out what it is and how your stuff is arranged in the bag if that bothers you if not just let it stay all where it is so like i say the leather is extremely soft so in here i'm going to show you what i have 
and just so let me zip it back up so you can see i still have not carried this bag with the shoulder strap i'm enjoying carrying it this way and on the crook of my arm like this i'm absolutely loving it i wanted this bag in this size because of the look of it with the strap with the strap hanging and all that and the way it looked crossbody have not even wore it like that but again i will say as in week one I did not want the tote version that you can only wear as a tote on your shoulder. So the strap I have kept here at home. I did not even keep it in the bag. So this is how it looks when it's zipped. And again, this week, I did not even bother putting that in there to do it like that. I just kept mine inside the bag. So... That has really not been an issue for me, keeping it inside the bag like that. So now to the inside of the bag. This is everything that I have in her. She is clearly stuffed, as you can see. So this being the front is the way I carried my bag. For those that don't like the big logo when people were saying turn it to the back, that's your preference. To me, I want you to see what I'm carrying. <laughs> So the tote bag has been on the front. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you what all I have in this bag. And we'll do it really quick. Here is my Coach Nolita 15. And this is probably about a year old. I think it came out last year for the Valentine collection. I have a tall um, bath and body. It's not Moonlight Path. It's the Black Raspberry Vanilla. And I'm just trying to use this one up. I have the Target Dollar Spot pouch, and I just have my wet wipes in here. I have a bottle of water that is the 16 ounce. It's getting warmer outside. In this back pocket here, I have a cocoa butter stick, a charger bank, one of those uh, charger banks that I need to actually charge up. And then I have the clipper that I was gifted from Dooney Attic 615. And in the other pocket there, the Bath and Body Hand Lotion. That is the Tiki Bay. And then I have the uh, Altoid Mint Box, but it has my cough drops in it. On this side, the this side, Back on this side, where the zipper pocket was, the only thing I still have in that zipper pocket is, I believe, just my headphones. Yes. So in there is just my headphone cords and the Marc Jacobs care card that I just will keep in there. So now to the gut of the bag. This is my Coach Double Zip wallet in the color chalk as well. And this is probably about maybe two or three years old as well so i chose it to pair with this so i actually was carrying this on easter sunday and so i said well let me get something pastelish and i still had my lavender nails nails <laughs> lavender slash lilac nails at the time so everything was kind of like a light pastelish color so chalk double zip wallet and then the coach nolita 15 just so you can see these two paired together with that. And I definitely need to clean this out because it is stuffed as you can see. <laughs> and then I had this in here because I had some stuff I need to have some doctor's appointments with the kids for um, sports physicals to get them out the way for um, next school year. It was time for two of them to get theirs. So I took this so I could write down appointments and other stuff. And so I just took this so I could be writing in it while they had their appointment. This is the Louis Vuitton desk agenda. Then the famous Target pouch. I chose to carry this. It says, I am the big picture. And again, went with the pastel look. This is kind of like a light blush pink maybe. So I just figured I just kept everything pastel to bring it all together. So we have these three here. So I had that. And in this pouch, it was kind of like a, it literally was a catch-all. 
So the sanitizer was in here, deodorant in here, uh, fingernail file in here, a pen, because I did not bring my coach pen pouch, a lip balm, vanilla bean, the well, another lotion. This is the shea butter that I like from Bath and Body. They had their $2.95. And then I have some extra pens in here highlighter and a purple pen and a cocoa butter stick I was using up because it was almost gone. So these are those Ruby and Cash Target pouches that we had. So wallet, catch all, and the Nolita 15. And this, I had my medicine stuff in here. So my Beer Bradley pill case and Benadryl, allergy meds, ibuprofen, stuff like that. This is the bottom of the bag because like I say, I have been... <laughs> <laughs> so this is receipts, hair ties, wrappers from um, candy, cough drops, Walmart, Target receipts. I have a um, plastic fork here. I have a extra mask for my son, hair tie, more papers and receipts there. So the bag has held up quite nicely and with all that, like I say, the bag is so lightweight and the leather so soft. So the bag to me was not heavy with all that stuff in it. And I'm trying to think there's nothing else negative that really was about the bag. And honestly, like I say, when the stuff bulges out, you see it's right back to a shape. So literally all you have to do is just move the stuff around. So this is week two of the carry. Still checking to see if thread has popped anywhere or showing or any wear and tear. The corners still look great. I probably can wipe off the bag a little bit. Just, you know, like your typical wipe it off. And no issues there. And the interior looks amazing as well again I use the pouch method so a lot of times if you do that it kind of saves you from having interior damage to your bags because everything is inside of a pouch so this is the outside zipper the back of the bag so again this is week two just doing a little quick update so I will add all these videos together so you have the final um, of all the videos together showing the review over weeks and thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is the switch out saturday with a final i guess update slash review of the mark jacobs tote bag in the color argon oil this bag has been a phenomenal carry I've been in it since I got it. No issues whatsoever. <laughs> I've been like so excited to carry it. Compliments every day. The hubby even loves it. And my daughter loves it. I mean, it's been a great bag. It's been a very great bag. So I have nothing to say <laughs> negative. The only thing that some people may have an issue with, as I stated in my two-week review, was when you place your items in the bag, just be mindful that the leather is really soft, so you may see bulges, depending on how you place it in the bag. Other than that, not a deal breaker. Some people love a slouchy bag, so they're used to the bag not being structured. Some don't care how the stuff looks inside the bag. <laughs> Some, it may bother. This is everything that's in my bag. I kept the same accessories in here for week two on up until today. I just absolutely love it. Can definitely see adding another color so, and I keep bringing up the whole thread thing just because I want people to see nothing has popped on mine. And I don't think I have any stains or unfamiliar markings. <laughs> 
So everything was a pro for me. The bag is really lightweight. So the only weight you get from the bag is the amount of junk or items you place in your bag. <laughs> so with that being said, I'll just do a quick run through here. I had my bag open a lot like this and on the crook of my shoulder. I still did not carry it with the shoulder strap. And to show you what it looks like zipped, I truly kept the end piece tucked in my bag like that. So I didn't even use this feature. I added no charms to the bag. I did buy a puff ball, but I need to get a ring or a chain to wrap it around here to carry it because this piece is wider and it's not really a place to connect anything there. The handles probably do show some darkening colors because I carried it on the crook of my arm or by the, you know, by my hand using lotions and stuff. So like you can see that's a little darker there. But overall, I'm glad that I moved right into her. So now I can truly honestly say I carried it long enough to let me know that I love the bag and I would purchase another. Now, no, I'm not going to buy 10 colors, <laughs> but I could definitely see adding another one. And let me show you what's on the inside. Same stuff as the last video. It might be one or two extra items in here. Coach double zip wallet. This here is a Target Bon Appetit little thing that I got from the dollar section and I bought one for my lunch bag and then for some reason I had to pick up another one <laughs> to go inside my purse and it just has the eating utensils in there. It's a spoon, fork, and a knife. And of course, you know, the color is like a blush pink type color. It's real pretty. And same Target pouches in here. I am the big picture. This is my catch-all. Matter of fact, this is probably the same color. Yeah, probably the same color. So this was my catch-all. Not going to take out everything in here. I had the same um, Coach Nolita 15 in here. My medicine pouch. Had my brush in here. My little... These are just some sunglasses. We were going to... Um, a game and I didn't have some sunglasses so I said well I gotta stop in the dollar store anyway and get some snacks um a fruit grain bar I ate my oatmeal I have some receipts in here a fingernail clipper in here and then in these back pockets as you can see I was able to put stuff in there just fine here is, see how I can do it. So um, body spray, I mean not body spray, hand sanitizer spray, which is almost empty. A lotion, cocoa butter stick. In the second pocket, the Altoid container that has cough drops in it. Another lotion, which is the Shea Butter, if it shows up, by Bath and Body and some wet ones, hand wipes, and in that back zipper pocket, just the same clipper and the Marc Jacobs care card. So, sorry that was quick, but it was literally the same stuff. <laughs> so I can show you the interior of the bag as well. It's a piece of paper stuck down in there, so I had to get that out. and a cough drop wrapper swinging around in there. I have no marks on here. I use the pouch method. I did not have my pen case because it's in my work bag, but you all know my coach pencil pouch that I use. Everything has been great. Nothing happened to the bag that I can say will be a con for me. It has been out in the rain. It's been out in the sun. It's been to basketball games. 
It's been to a football game. So it's been everywhere that I had to go. And I have no complaints about it whatsoever. And I don't know why I'm packing it back up like I'm not moving out of it. <laughs> so I have to figure out what I'm going to move into next because I don't know if I want to carry another tote or crossbody, carry something smaller, carry a backpack. I don't know yet. I honestly don't know. But I wanted to film this because I'm about to... Um, start cleaning up some stuff around the house and I wanted to make sure I got this out of the way. So you will now have seen all in one video, the first week, second week, and then the final days and the updated review. So thank you all so much for watching the Mark Jacobs tote bag in the color Argon Oil.